see. Oh, you can, oh. There you go. That was the problem. <laughs> so that's the camshaft pedestal bolts. Yeah. Well, studs and nuts. So yeah, yeah they were both loose. No, they just pull out. Look. No, that's the thread that stripped. Oh, that's the thread. <laughs> yeah. That's what's pulled out. Look. Oh, you can see it peeling off there. Look. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's just pulled out. Yeah. So somebody's over torqued it. These two blocks came out yeah, yeah, of a Rolls Royce Merlin thread. engine from. Yeah. Mosquito HJ711. The blocks consist of the cylinder skirts and the cylinder head. Damage had been caused in the head. The camshaft pedestal studs had stripped the threads inside the head. I asked Brad and Martin why they didn't just take the head off and send that away for repair instead of taking the cylinder block and the head off as one unit. Now, they are built... You have to take the block off to change the head anyway. Yes, there is a special procedure to remove the cylinder head from the liner part of the, of the block. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yes, you need special tools and special procedures. If you just take it off without, it doesn't do it a lot of good. And this has happened in the past quite a few times. Yeah. Not here, yeah. but it has happened to pe unknowing people who have attempted and have indeed removed the cylinder head from the liners yeah. without the aid of special tools by prising it apart and then it's resulted in damage mm -hmm. okay because there's there's a load of seals 20 odd or whatever it is there's an awful, there's an awful lot of seals because because there isn't a head gasket oh is it there? no oh i was going to say would... there is no head gasket yeah, I it's thought, all seals yeah i thought perhaps you'd have to change your head gasket every time there is time. no head gasket as such no yeah. and that that's why it's a specialist job you yeah. need the right tools and you need to do it to the book yeah if you don't, there's a very high probability of failure. Yeah. And the damage can be anything um, from just leaks up to something quite severe, like damage to the head crap cast itself or the liners aren't seated properly, etc. Yeah. etc. It, it, it's a complex process that requires the procedure to be followed correctly using the right tools. You even have to heat and freeze the block and do all sorts of clever things like that. It's not it's not it's not like changing a head gasket on a mini. No. Okay, no. which a lot of people can do in their sleep. I certainly can. Yeah. But it, it is. That's why the whole assembly comes off together. Yeah. And Mr. Bradley is now probably going to show you a relevant section in the in the parts catalogue to illustrate the point. Right. Thank you. Not at all, sir. Thanks a lot. That's your head. Your studs. Yeah. And that's what it sits on. So you put the whole lot on top of the. Yeah. And there's all the seals Martin's talking about, top of box seals. Yeah. Um, and you can't... So... There, there is no head gasket as such. No. Well, there isn't. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It is your, one of yours. Yeah. You, you actually see... And when you put the six pistons in, you have to you, you use piston ring guides. Or, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Lovely. Thank you. And we, we didn't have any rings, did we? We did not. We, we pride ourselves, Nev. Good. He'd been able to do this without busting piston rings. Piston I, I rings was wondering rings when you are rare yeah. when you can get them now. Very expensive. Yeah. The, yeah. the piston rings themselves aren't too bad, are they? It's the it's the scraper ring. Your control, the ring. control ring. The oil it's ring at the bottom, yeah, is it? Yeah. 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 But they're the ones that are getting scarce. Yeah. Yeah, the bottom one. Yeah. Because it depends on what type of piston. But there is a there is a ring on the bottom of the skirt of a lot of Merlins on all of ours. Yeah. Okay, and, and that one's particularly vulnerable towards the end of the process. So you've got you've got your normal ring pack at the top above the gudgeon pin net. Right. Yeah. Okay. Those are relatively easy because you put a standard piston ring clamp in, feed them up at the bottom of the liner, and then you lower the block down onto them. Those aren't too bad to do. But the ones that are tricky, the bottom oil control ring, which is on the bottom of the skirt, because this involves using a, a tool that's actually got like two hooks on it that go into the slots in the piston ring and you actually have to manually hold the piston ring in a squeezed in position and then lower the block onto it and then you get the, the top edge of the line, the bottom, sorry, of the liner over the top edge of the oil control ring and then as, as the liner just contacts the tool, you can remove the tool and then you lower the block. You get that wrong and it springs out at the wrong moment. Ping! Off goes the end of the piston yeah. ring. Boing! Boing! Up oh, went the lobsters, yes. Oh.
so yes. So right. it, it's it's not it's not it's just fiddly in it, Brad. It's, yeah. it's fiddly. And when you put the the block on, do you have all the pistons at the same height or do you have three high three No, they're they're by hands and tail. There are two methods to do it. There's the Rolls Royce method and the Packard method. No, there's the Rolls Royce method and the wrong method. Yeah, we, we've decided that the Packard method is the wrong method. We don't like the Packard method. We don't do we? like it at we all. We don't like it at all, no. We've, we've been told by various people, including people far better qualified than us, yeah, yeah. that the Packard method is the best method to use. But we've decided that wrong. We're, we've decided that that's not right, because we didn't like that method. No. We like the Rolls-Royce method. The Packard method, you set four pistons together at the same height, and you get four on at once. Yeah. But it makes the oil rings on the outer cylinders very much more difficult to do. Yeah. We found whereas the rolls method you do two at a time, so there's two pistons, two pistons, oh, and the last I, yeah, two. Yeah. We've just found that easier. I would imagine that somebody that's very well versed at doing the Packard method can probably do a block change or a block installation faster doing the Packard method because you put four pistons in at once. Right away, yeah. I understand that, but from our point of view, where we get to do this now and again, okay, we went this is hard work, this is, isn't it? Yes. And it took three of us to do it. Now, I've done a block change with Brad in the past with doing the rolls method, where it's only taken two of us to put them in. Yeah. So, yeah. it's horses for courses. Yeah. The conventional wisdom says the Packard system's better, but we don't agree, do we, Brad? I don't agree we reserve you. the right to judge, to make judgment. <laughs> even though we're wrong, even we, though we're wrong. We're wrong, even though we're wrong. The, we're wrong, it we germs. The overwhelming evidence. We're not wrong. The fact that we are wrong. But there we go. Whose Yo. engine is it anyway? Who's? <laughs> there you it go. It says Rolls Royce on the top. So does say Rolls Royce it. on the top. It does. It's not a Packard built Merlin. It's a Rolls Royce built Merlin. Correct. So we'll we'll do we'll use the Rolls Royce. Right. Method. Thank you very much. Yes. And we'll use nasty horrible. No, we don't use nasty horrible American spanners. Well, actually, no. we do. Oh. To be honest. I can sleep again at night. I'll sort that, something to else be fair, out to, before to be, I see to you be again. Fair, Nev, the best toolkit you'll get for Rolls Royce Merlin was made by the Americans. They're snap on tools. Yeah. It's early versions of snap on tools. Oh, look, these ears have tripped up. Yes, and now, it, look, Mr. Gerbs will, will, will possibly show you what a real toolkit looks like for a Rolls Royce Merlin. Working time, not a day time. Working time. No. I've got a handful, but, but, but Mr. Gerbs Tastic has got He's the Piesta resistance. No, 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 no. Nearly. Hello, oh, John. Yeah. He's Sorry. nearly there. Look. Oh. This this is this is gold. This is this is the Rolls Royce equivalent of Mecca. Look at that. Mm. Salivating already. Uh, did Rolls Royce um, give these with each engine? No, this is Packard. Packard. Well, this is Packard. Every engine came with one of these. Oh. Oh, He's nearly there, aren't you, Gerbs? But it's work in progress. Still got quite a few missing. Yeah. Oh. And we're not we'll get you an engine on and off, will it? That's everything you need to do yeah. maintenance work. Yeah. And install them early, wouldn't it? If you had an engine change to do, yeah. there's your kit. There's the kit to do it with. Yeah. There's everything in there you need to swap an engine. Oh good. Even. Tricky getting a flat pack crane though, isn't it? Flat pack crane's all good. There's an original. Ah yes. Packaged. I was, was going to say you've still got some of those, haven't you? Yeah, What's that? mine's here. You got one? Mine's yes, I found there. these, Nev. Right. Oh. Show me again, Brad. They're identical. They're all identical. That's the genuine socket. I've not even opened it. That's the part number. I'd rather not. 8040. It was your keep birthday it, present, Brad. That's keep it for a rainy day when I've not got anything else to do and need some excitement in my life. Excitement. Oh, and that's your tool checklist, is it, which comes with it. Oh, that's right good. Thank you. Super. Hey, I'm getting some good stuff this morning. It was a good, good laugh. There was some, uh, some good um, comments. When a Muppet gets hold of a very rare spanner, Mr. Gerbs will have shown you Anything that was genuine aeroplane had an AT number, which is shown there. This is a very rare spanner indeed, 532 Whitworth, right? Yeah. Now, this is the spanner, this size, is commonly mistaken by people for 10 millimetres. Wash your mouth out with soap and water, okay? Yeah. 
metrics for people that can't do fractions, right? Yeah. 532 Whitworth. It's actually seven thousandths of an inch different size to, to 10 mil. Is it smaller or larger? Slightly smaller, oh, well, right? So, so the, the 10 mil will go on it. 10 mil will go on it, which yeah. is why people use it, because they think it is 10 mil, because yeah. 7,000 is not much when it's a spanner, no. right? However, this very rare and otherwise would have been quite valuable spanner was ruined by a Muppet who decided to grind the open end oh. to make it fit something else. Oh dear. So I've now got to try and find one. They are rarer than the proverbial rocking horse doings, these are. Yeah. So yes, if you see a spanner or a socket that has an 18 number on it like that, then it's likely to be the proper tool for a Rolls Royce Merlin because it yeah. will have that number on it. Will it not, Mr. Jerbs? Absolutely. So, as along with what Jerbs showed you there, this is, again, you can see this is a socket, okay? And this one has an 18 number on it, look, okay? So again, that's the genuine article, that's a wartime socket, that is. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. There you are, Ned. Oh. oh, what was that? Oh, Packard. Yeah, I could read that. Part 189368. I can't read what it says underneath. Rolls Royce engine at the bottom. Oh, Packard. Packard built. Rolls built, Royce yeah. Engine. That's right, yeah. The valuable nice. stuff there. I'll be looking for them on eBay now. Get me in the queue, mate. Good luck. <laughs> There's a large queue on eBay for anything with those numbers on. <laughs> and they're starting to get wise to the fact that... Yeah, they're worth something. Right, thanks a lot, Ray. What you have to do is try and find somebody who doesn't know what he's got. Yeah. And, and get it for a sensible price. Isn't that right, Jerbs? Yeah. If they know what it is, then they charge top yeah. dollar. I mean, those sockets, these sockets... I'm not sure that the guy knew what they were because I had a box of, a box of I think it was eight of these, yeah. brand new, still in the original boxes now. Yeah. The date on this one, 12th of April 1949, so it's post-war, yeah. but you know, we're still, still. using Rolls Merlins and yeah. Packard Merlins after the war. Yeah. Oh good, thanks right. a lot. On that bombshell.